The sellers finally came out. That's why we're down over 1,900 points down on the Dow in the last two days. So what happened? Well, if you missed the last video, we had growing number of cases in South Korea and Italy. It's expanding in Iran as well. Now today, the you know CDC, Center for Disease Control, was all about this, saying that we might have to expect major changes to our day-to-day -day life in the United States. They're saying it's not a matter of if, but when it gets here. And hopefully that isn't the case. Hopefully we get it under control pretty quickly, but it's entirely possible that's gonna happen and it's almost likely at this point. So China has essentially passed their peak, but they haven't gone back to work. They've been, they hit their peak because they sent everyone home. People aren't allowed to leave their home. They've been escalating that and escalating and escalating. And finally, in the last week, they started to see a down decline in the amount of new cases. That's what caused me to say on one day last week, looks like we're all good, but we didn't end up being all good. The next day it spread and then I went back to saying, no, not a time to buy. Let's just see how it plays out. And that's the moral of the story here. Nobody really knows when this is gonna end, you know? It, I, we could tell for a long time that the market wasn't appreciating the risk and I was making that very clear that I believed that the market was not appreciating the risk of coronavirus. And they weren't. They, we were at all time highs last week. And now all of a sudden, we're down absurd amounts. Two consecutive days and the chart just looks ugly right now. Looks very ugly. You can look at Thursday, a little bit of decline. Friday, a little bit of decline. Monday, big. F Tuesday, big. Aftermarket, down more. So... It is what it is. We just kind of got to ride it out. And if you haven't sold yet, you should start selling. You know, don't sell everything. Um, I think you should sell things with high China exposure, some social media. You know, here's the thing with social media. All their money comes from advertisement. But if people aren't going to be shopping, people aren't going to be spending money on social media. That hurts social media. Um, so be careful about what products you got what assets you own in your portfolio. Take a look at trimming down that position and cash is king right now. Cash is king. So if you expect the downturn to continue, like I expect the downturn to continue, you want to have as much cash on hand so you can look for buying opportunities. You know, it's good to own American companies. And it's, as Warren Buffett says, it's always a good time to be buying American companies, but sometimes they're on sale. We're getting up to the clearance point Everything's going to be on clearance, on sale. So we want to have cash so we can make those purchases and buy those stocks. So if you're in Virgin Galactic right now, it's a good position to trim. In a downturn, it might fall a little bit more. That being said, if you really like the stock, you don't need to sell that one. That's one you can just kind of hold on to for the next 10 years and you'll be up. But a lot of stuff is going to come down. We have a liquidity problem. China just injected a lot of money. We've had low interest rates for a long time. And we've seen that not in the price of chicken, not in the price of oranges, but in the price of financial assets. Financial assets are pretty inflated right now. More less inflated than they were last week, but still pretty inflated. So multiples have been high. Microsoft, Google trading at above 30 PE ratios, but those are very mature and well-developed companies that do have growth in their you know, front view mirror, but that's a lot of earnings to make up. So things with still high multiples are good options to be trimmed because nobody's gonna be paying a 30 multiple on Microsoft right now. It's just not gonna happen. It's not an attractive buy. People wanna be buying Apple at a 15 price to earnings ratio, not a 23, you know? It's not super attractive right now. So we got to have it be in cash. Cash is king. I don't know when coronavirus is going to end. I don't. Neither does anybody. You know, we just have to understand that you don't grab a falling knife. You wait for it to hit the ground and then you pick it up. Then you got your knife. If you try and grab it on the way down, you're going to get burned. So as I was saying last week, 
I believe even the week before, I'm saying it again now, it's not a time to buy. If you've got very valuable positions, you can hold them. If you have positions with lots of China exposure and high multiple, you should sell them. And with that, hopefully we'll be good tomorrow. We won't get killed out there. And uh, let's watch as this develops and adapt. We're always going to be adapting. I'll be releasing videos and letting you know what is happening in the market. So, peace.